Some American cities have buses. Some use trams and trains. And there's one that uses golf carts. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Vanessa Fleisch, and I am the mayor of Peachtree City, Georgia. It's a small city of about 35,000 people that is about 20 minutes south of Atlanta. It's asphalt paths. We have over 100 miles of them. They range from 8 feet to 10 feet wide in some places. They're used for golf carts mostly. We have over 11,000 registered golf carts in the city. And obviously pedestrians, bicyclists, all kinds of traffic is on these paths. Morning. And you do have to register them? Yes, you do. Um, the people in the city do register them. There's someone else approaching us now. I'm assuming it's like yes. it's like regular roads. You, you pass on the right and... Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's a parallel road network, basically. The majority of the city is accessible by carts and uh, that's a huge attraction because parents can pick up their kids at school if they want to. And some of the kids can drive themselves? Yes, so the younger kids or the sophomores at um, the local high schools are allowed with their learner's permit to drive their carts to school. Wow. It's a bit of freedom yeah. that they enjoy. And I guess if it's limited to 20 miles an hour there's less of a chance of a bad bump. So this is the high school? This is, there's parking at the high school for 615 carts. That this is a lot of golf carts. Do all the students leave at once here? Is it, is it just a traffic jam oh, of golf carts? Oh, it is. Carts? It is a traffic okay. jam of golf carts and it's not always pretty. Some of them have a limiter? They do, but sometimes they can be removed and they go faster <laughs> than they should, mm -hmm. um, and, which isn't good. No, but, that's exactly uh, what I'd have done at like age 15 with my own golf cart. I would have removed the limiter on it. Some of the carts have heaters inside them oh, wow. and radios. You can soup them up as much as you want, <laughs> really. After they saw the popularity in the 70s, what they did was they required whenever there was a new subdivision of houses built that they connect to the paths. For the most part, the car paths are laid out at the same time they lay out the roads. So what are the road rules here? It's like you're in a regular vehicle, you've just got more paths you can go on? Yes, and if there is no path, you are allowed to be on the road, but that's why we've expanded the paths because we're trying to keep people off of them as much as possible. Sometimes people who have never been here have been caught on car paths with their cars thinking that that's the right wow. thing to do. <laughs> I wanted to take you through a drive through So up here is McDonald's. I'm still kind of getting over the fact that I'm in, I'm in a drive through in a golf cart. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Should point out, not, not sponsored. This is not product placement. <laughs> the brakes on this are very good. I'm sorry, it's like very mm. abrupt on them. It's um, better than the alternative. Peachtree City was a planned community, right? Correct. So Correct. How, did, how did it go from we're going to build some houses here to we're going to have something that I don't think any other city in America has? It got started originally as um, a lake kind of retreat for Atlanta residents. And the people who were here basically on, only on the weekends, they started taking their golf carts on the roads, leaving playing golf. This whole separate network came up as a result of that to get them off the roads on their way home. So this was found in the 1950s? Um, 1959 by Joel Cowan. Um, he was a college student when he uh, designed and founded this city. Wow. Uh, it's very quiet. And <laughs> <laughs> I see what I mean? <laughs> Death wish, good grief. Along here, this is Lake Peachtree. Sorry, I got yeah. distracted by ducks. Ducks, yes. <laughs> the founder, Mr. Cowan, and um, his cousin were the ones that put up the dam and spillway originally that made this lake. 100,000 gallons a second goes over this. People do pay taxes to pay towards these roads. It mm. costs us $1.8 million a year to maintain what we have as well as the 29 bridges and 29 tunnels. This is a pretty affluent city, which I guess is one of the reasons that the golf cart paths work, but there are a lot of cities like that in America, and I don't, I'm trying to work out why it's worked here and it hasn't elsewhere. 
most mayors, when they, they, when they see or hear about us and they think, oh, we can do that, well, you know, they've got older cities, right? So they, they really can't. I guess part of it is, is cost. Part of it is that you need a, a huge amount of upkeep and tax and everything to, to make this work. Right. But it's also because you need to set the whole thing up or it doesn't work. You can't have a quarter of a cart network because no one will buy a cart and no one will use it. You right. need to connect everything or it's not worth it. Right. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can find out more about Peachtree City in the links in the description. I'm sure there's no seatbelts on this. No. <laughs> <laughs>